with us and be able to identify and find problems and needs among our Kababayans and the big community itself. And hopefully, come and join with us to find solutions for those problems. That's too serious, I guess. <laughs> yeah, again, enjoy the night and welcome to our induction of officers. Um, back to you ladies. for that wonderful welcome address. All right, I'm sure many of us are getting hungry. I know I am. Me too, rightfully <laughs> so, because uh, it's about dinner time. To start us off with a prayer song, we have Miss Shirley Freeman representing Fairfax, Virginia. to Senor Santo Nino, these dancers found strength and faith, enabling them to triumph over adversity and realize their American dream. Through their dedication and perseverance, Gawasno Mahahalad has become a source of inspiration, attracting and influencing others and to join the Senuno dance as a heartfelt offering to Senor Santo Nino in gratitude for the blessings they have received. Everybody, let's welcome Gawasno Mahahalad.
especially to bless the leaders, uh, the set of officers who are taking oath today. Grant them the wisdom, grant them strength and the courage to be able to, to serve our fellow Kababayans and the bigger community as well. Let us all together say, Bless us, O Lord, and this thy gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
for your rendition of the Philippine and American National Anthem respectively. We may sit down. Because this is a very special crowd, it feels like home. And um, I thought of doing something for the very first time. Yes, I sing, but I don't play the guitar. But during the pandemic, I learned how to play ukulele and guitar. So this is the very first time that I'm doing both. So I'm going to try. Please bear with me. I'm a little nervous, but I'm trying. This is a song from Miss Saigon. It's called Sun and Moon. This is a duet, so because I don't have my partner here, I, there's a little revision that I did. I hope you like it. our guest speaker for this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Tito P. Vilosio Jr., an award-winning educator and assistant principal at one of the largest high schools in Prince George's County Public Schools. Originally from Cebu City, Philippines, Dr. Vilosio brings with him a wealth of experience having dedicated 19 years to the field of education with a noteworthy 15-year tenure here in the United States. Dr. Vilosio's commitment to education is truly remarkable, having embarked on his teaching career at the young age of 19. 
His invaluable contributions as an educator have been felt in both Louisiana and Maryland, where he has served diligently for a decade in the former and the past five years in the latter. Additionally, his impending graduation with a postdoctoral degree from the Philippine Christian University signifies his unwavering dedication to academic and professional growth. As he sets its sights on the future, Dr. Viosio aspires to assume the role of a school principal, a testament to his enduring passion for educational leadership and his profound commitment to driving positive change within the academic landscape. Please join me in warmly welcoming Dr. Tito P. Viosio Jr., Higala Inc.'s Chairman of the Board of Directors, a prominent educational figure and a true trailblazer in pursuing educational excellence. Thank you once again to our, for that generous um, introduction to our lovely Masters of Ceremonies tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, esteemed colleagues, it is my honor and privilege to introduce Mr. Irek C. Arribas, a distinguished diplomat and public servant of exemplary merit. With a sterling academic background and extensive professional experience, Mr. Arribas embodies a pinnacle of excellence and leadership in his field. A proud alumnus of the University of the Philippines, Mr. Arribas' academic journey culminated in the attainment of a Bachelor of Science in Economics, distinct, distinguished by the prestigious Dean's Medal, a testament to his exceptional academic prowess. His quest for knowledge transcended borders as he pursued a master's degree in business administration at the Asian Institute of Management. And as an exchange student at the Escuela Superior de Administración y Decisión de Empresas in Barcelona, Spain. Mr. Arriba's illustrious career commenced in the private sector, where he dedicated a decade to the financial industry including notable contributions during his tenure in Jakarta, Indonesia. In 1999, his transition to government service marked the beginning of a remarkable journey in the Philippine Foreign Service, a journey that has been characterized by dedication, leadership, and unwa unwavering commitment. His diplomatic odyssey has seen him hold pivotal roles in Philippine embassies, in Madrid, Spain, in New Delhi, India, Seoul, South Korea, and Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, underscoring his profound understanding of diverse cultural and international landscape. Furthermore, his impactful, in, impactful tenure as the Executive Director at the Office of the Undersecretary for Migrant Workers Affairs, particularly during the challenging times of the COVID-19 pandemic, exemplifies his dedication to the well-being of overseas Filipinos. Notably, Mr. Arriba's outstanding contributions have been acknowledged with the prestigious Gawad Mabini Award, bestowed by the President of the Philippines, in recognition of his exceptional diplomatic acumen, his leadership in spearheading transformative initiatives such as repatriation program for the displaced Filipino construction workers and the collaborative job fairs at DFA reflects his unwavering commitment to serving and empowering overseas Filipinos. At present, Mr. Arriba serves as the Consul General of the Embassy of the Republic of the Philippines in Washington, D.C., 
where he oversees consular services with jurisdiction over the vast geographical areas. Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, North, South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, and most states in the Caribbean. His dedication to the Filipino-American communities have been formally recognized by the General Assembly of the State of Maryland, further attesting to his remarkable contributions and dedication. Born and raised in Manila with roots in Ilocos Norte, Pampang Ilocos no Norte, Pampanga, Negros Occidental, and Cagayan de Oro. Mr. Arriva's diverse and rich cultural background is embl emblematic of his deep-rooted commitment to public service and the well-being of overseas Filipinos. His exempli exemplary, exemplary leadership in diplomacy and profound contribution aligned him as a beacon of inspiration and a trailblazer in the realm of diplomatic service. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in extending a warm welcome to our guest speaker, Mr. Eirik C. Arribas, a distinguished guest whose exemplary journey and impactful contribution stand as a testament of the finest traditions of public service and diplomacy. much for the very very kind introduction I can only say one thing I enjoy what I'm doing so if I have been acknowledged or if I've been recognized for the things that I've been doing for the Filipinos that's a bonus All right anyway um, but before I start before I, I deliver the message for tonight I'd like to congratulate and recognize the the, the efforts of Dr. Velma for putting all of these things together. This, uh, this event right now is very, very well organized. And Dr. Velma, can you please stand up? And let's give her a round of applause. And of course, her team as well. Sino ba yung mga kasama niyo po? Can you please uh, stand up and be recognized? Palagpakan po natin sila. Meron pa daw po dito from this side. Alright, so thank you very much. And one more thing. Uh, let's all greet Attorney Chris Kabagnot. A happy birthday. Hi. Attorney Chris, please stand up. She's the legal counsel of Figala. Let's just say a greet for happy birthday. We don't have to sing. Ayoko po kanta na happy birthday dito sa Ara. <laughs> I'm a surprise monster, or did I, did I ruin the surprise? No, I ah, she knew about she knew about your surprise. Anyway, so let me just uh, go on with a message for everybody. So maayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Sumdan lang nako o pangumusta sa inyo o malipayong pagkumtui. Ayos ba? <laughs> On behalf of Ambassador Jose Manuel G. Romualdez and the Philippine Embassy in Washington, D.C., I warmly congratulate everyone tonight on the momentous launch of Higala Incorporated, the Cebuano slash Visayo organization in the DMV. It is my honor to stand before you today and start 2024 with the birth of a new Filipino community organization. The establishment of Higala marks another milestone in our community, a testament to the dedication and passion of those who have worked tirelessly to bring our constant vision of camaraderie and solidarity to fruition. 
It is an affirmation of the vibrant tapestry or tapestry of Cebuano slash Bisaya culture that enriches the diverse mosaic of the Filipino community in the Philippines and in diasporas all around the world. Higala, the Bisaya of the word friendship, embodies the spirit of bayanihan, trust, and mutual understanding that defines the bonds between individuals. It is a reminder that in every language, the warmth of friendship remains universal. Furthermore, I have the privilege of meeting your inaugural leadership team tonight. To this first set of officers, I commend you for your efforts, for your commitment, and your dedication to service. All right, applause. I know most, if not all of you, were called on your peers as you set your goals towards your first ever election as well. I hope that despite this challenge, you will commit to contributing to the growth of Higala and leave a meaningful impression on the Cebuano slash Bisaya community in the DMV. I keep on saying Cebuano slash Bisaya because I do know that although I think most of you are from Cebu, this organization is not just for Cebuanos. But Bisaya and Mindanao. And even if it's for Bisaya and Mindanao community, your service is not just for them, right? Yes. It's for all Filipinos who come here. Yes. That's something that we should actually recognize. Palakpakan po natin yun. Which means to say, Higala is not only for the Bisayas, it's for all Filipinos. That's how generous you are. So as we welcome 2024 with great optimism, let us celebrate the diversity that makes our community lively and positive. We believe that your organization will serve as a bridge that connects us all, fostering friendship, understanding, and collaboration. May you be guided by President Marcus Jr.'s dream of a revitalized Philippines, a bagong Pilipinas that brings peace, progress, and prosperity to all. Please be assured, Dr. Velma, and your officers, that the Philippine Embassy will continue supporting your organization and the Filipino or community organizations as we work together to uplift the Filipino diaspora throughout the entire United States of America. Thank you. salamat o viva kitsinyo sa inyong tanan. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much. Right. Start off with the chairman of the board. We have Dr. Tito Villosino. We have Mrs. Eileen Burgos. We have Hyacinth Butalid Kovacs. Mrs. Glenda Escasinas. Mrs. Glenda is in the house. Next, we have Dr. Rosie Conway. Engineer Alfredo M. Tabuada Jr. Mr. Donald Cabagno. Here as well. We acknowledge everyone's presence that we're not here this evening, as well as Decon friends Joseph Villeza. And last but not the least, we have Mr. Luke Sarmiento. And now I will announce the Higala Inc. officers. Officers, please stay at the floor, please. Starting with our auditor, Ms. Christy Cabanle. Legal advisor and birthday celebrant, <laughs> Attorney Christine P. Cabano. Treasurer, Ms. Margie Dumada. Assistant Treasurer, Dr. Gemma Balbuena. <laughs> Assistant Secretary, Dr. Lisa Gonzalez. Secretary, Dr. Norberto Torbeso. 
Vice President External, Ms. Amy Sarmiento, who could not be here with us. Vice President Internal, Mr. Raymond Dumada. And last but not the least, President Dr. Velma Tabuada. gentlemen, can you please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Can you do it uh, with more energy? Let's, let's, let's repeat. <laughs> let's do this again. Okay. I state your name. Having been duly elected as state your position. Of the Higala Incorporated, of the Higala Incorporated. 2024 to 2026, 2024 to 2026. of the DMV area, area. do solemnly, solemnly swear to fulfill my duties, fulfill my duties. In, my in my full capacity with integrity, with integrity. Honesty. honesty, sincerity. Humility, Humility and commitment and as an officer or board of director. I shall promise to follow the Constitution and bylaws and abide by the rules and regulations of the Higala Incorporated Organization. With this, I ask the help of God Almighty to grant me the grace to strengthen and inspire me to be of further service to my fellow officers and board of directors of our Higala Incorporated. So help me God. Congratulations everyone. Congratulations, and thank you, Consul General, for leading the oath-taking. The launching and the oath-taking of the officers of the Higala Incorporated, we express our heartfelt appreciation. Given this 20th of January 2024 at Martins West, Baltimore MD, signed by Dr. Um, Norberto Torbeso, yours truly, and Dr. Vilma Tabuada. And again, another certificate of appreciation. Gala Incorporated present this certificate of appreciation to Con Gen Consul General Eric Cruz Arribas in his in deep gratitude for his gracious acceptance in our invitation to serve as our guest speaker at the launching and the oath taking of the officers of Higala Incorporated, we express our heartfelt appreciation. Given this 20th of January 2024 at Martins West, Baltimore, Maryland, signed by yours truly, Dr. Norber Norberto Torbeso and Dr. Bill Mantiguara. There's no reason. Of Higala Inc., the woman who gave us our beauty and brains, Dr. Velma Tabuada. My plot is 
proud to speak in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, I'm bringing my novena. It's at two pages. Well, anyway, I will make it shorter. Final page, okay. It's my privilege and honor to stand here in front of you in behalf of the Higala Incorporated Officers, Board of Directors, and Members. Tonight, our distinguished guest, Consul General Eirik Arribas, and Consul Mark Dominicolin, um, Native Cebuano, sponsors, performers, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The Higala Incorporated is a new board organization, and today is the launching and induction of officers as well, and we did it already. Higala Incorporated is a unique way of saying, you got a friend in me. We are here for you to help you and to be your friend whenever, wherever you need us. Tahigala. Like our slogan, a family away from home. It is clearly understood that our slogan stands for not only a friend, but a family as well, like this occasion now. Our group is a, a broad kind of Bisaya, Visayas and Mindanao, and later we'll also uh, cover Manila, that merged into a diverse region of places in West Virginia, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Maryland. You know we love to speak our native tongue, right? I love it. Okay. Visaya, I'm candidly fond of laughing, dancing, singing, and eating our very own Visaya food. We have that later. Our vision is to unify the Cebuano-speaking community in the DMVW areas. Our mission, our purpose. We foster camaraderie and a community of Cabobarians who speak the Cebuano Visaya language to preserve our culture, the like the Sinodo, and provide support to our other communities in Filipino-American society. Today marks the significant moment of all Cebuanos and Visaya in particular. One that I could share with you as an example is my student way back in Talisay City when in Cebu when I was pregnant of my second baby, Yana, and she is here with us as a new teacher in Alexandria, Virginia, like new teacher, Dr. Liza Gonzalez, my student and my wife had when she was in sixth grade, sixth grade. I'm proud of her achievements. Can you please stand up, Liza? Okay, that's my student. I am very much grateful to the following people who helped me realize this launching and allow me to mention them. First, Attorney Christine Kabagnot, can you please stand up? She plays a very important role when it comes to uh, legalities and very supportive of my plans and the plans of the uh, officers and BOD. I would like also to recognize Dr. Norberto Charbiso, could we stand up? One of the pillars why we are here today. He will stay with me doing the uh, so many program, uh, talking and some uh, editing together by a phone. Okay. And I would like also to recognize Mrs. Christy Cabanlet. Will you please stand up? An expert woman of her specialization, my matters. Even one cent, she is looking for that. And standing legwork of my, on my side, uh, helping me putting pieces into a big picture, like now. Dr. Velio Zillo, principal to be, even though it is sick, can you please stand up to me? And a busy school administrator, he has the time to provide things we need today. He is very helpful one when it comes to uh, analysis and uh, things, weigh things. He is good in that. Dr. Balbuena uh, Jema, will you please stand up? Her time and effort to help us, even in the midst of snowstorms, don't you know that's Monday? They, she was in my house doing this play, but it was really strong, but I truly appreciate 
um, my officers. Even in the midst of her time and in for Jobas and the storms, she's still with us. And I would like to recognize Ms. Eileen Burgess, who diligently, Eileen, can you please stand up? She is stationed in Northern Virginia. So we have station, station, right? We have Maryland, Washington, D.C., uh, Northern Virginia and West Virginia, Bisaya Higala Incorporated. Um, who diligently gather the Sinulog dancers and tackle practicing the dancers, rain or shine, snowstorm or sunny. She is there. And she is also the one who introduced to me the Miss Saigon and Jeanette. It's because she is her best friend in university at San Jose Recoletos. Adelante, okay. So they were best friends. And I appreciate that when she told me, oh, do you want someone to sing? Yes, who? Then when she told me, you know, I am fan of Miss Saigon. I would like also to recognize Miss Hyacinth Kubax. Can you please stand up, Miss Hyacinth? Yeah. Who is in charge in West Virginia, the Higala members. She is very energetic, helpful, and generous to help the group anytime you need her. She is a very busy person too with her many dogs at home while we're talking, the dogs are barking together, okay? And I would like also to appreciate the Dumada couple, my vice president, uh, Kuya Ringkoy, my Kuya, and Ati Margie, my Ati Margie. Can you please stand up, the two of you? They are our prayer warrior, okay? And they pray for us. Thank you for your time during meetings and plannings, and you are the implementers. We truly appreciate that. And I would like also to recognize, of course, I won't forget my husband. Um, he is always there with me, beside, in front, at back, okay? Jude is always at my side and my back during meetings, execution of the Higala plans and others, and he always reminded me every day, oh, did you call this? Did you call her? Did you call him? Oh, excuse me. Uh, I need my time, okay? But he was there to uh, give me some food, cook food for me while I am busy, and I really appreciate his love and care towards me. Yes. And, of course, my two gorgeous, beautiful, lady daughters, Chesa and Yana. Thank you for always there when I needed your love, technical support of the computer, and for always asking me, Mom, what can we help in Higala Incorporated? And that statement, truly I treasure that. Because when we, they ask me that, it shows that they are willing to support their mom and the Higala Incorporated anytime, anywhere, because they are also, they have their own lives now. And there is friends, I would like to recognize those who are sponsors. And I know you are here today, and I'm very proud of you. Friends, guests, sponsors, a million thanks for coming here, celebrating with us this momentous event that we cherish tonight. But before I would like to end my uh, speech, I would like to call on the Visaya from West Virginia. Can you please stand up? Visitors from West Virginia? Yeah. West Virginia, can you please stand up? Yeah. You know, they're going back home tonight. Okay, they're from West Virginia, they will travel two hours. And I would like to recognize also people from Northern Virginia. Can you please stand up? Guests from Northern Virginia? I know there are so many, that you know the dancers. Stand up please, Northern Virginia. And we have also here from Gettysburg, uh, the Buhulano. Ate, can you please stand up? Uh, my very dear friend, Emily Marquez and friends, stand up please. And I would like also to recognize uh, Greta and friends. Can you please stand up, Greta and friends? Just wave your hand. They are my dearest friend in Baltimore. In Baltimore, anytime. Greta was the first person I asked her, do you like to sponsor? And she said, yes, I want the back cover. Oh, I was happy and surprised because I never expect that. She is very supportive. Now, and also, uh, Kuya, uh, uh, Kuya Forex. Kuya <laughs> Ferdi. And, and, yeah, I know Kuya Ferdi. <laughs> and 
if you leave a hymn. And also, I would like to recognize the art that uses uh, Ati Helen and her husband. They're representing the art of a Filipino community. Right, Ati, just wave your hand. And also, the Bayaniha, Imelda, there. And we have also the beauty queen here, which won Miss Susan. Susan went to the, she won and asked me, face of the year, what is that? <laughs> I, I, I forget that. But she won as beauty queen. Okay, a big hand for Susan, please. And our um, official photographer is her son, uh, Suhan Lee. And I would like to recognize as well the Tivoli dancers. And I would like you to stand up because their husbands are here. They're from Northern Virginia. <laughs> Lead by Shirley. Stand up, please. Look at them, the people. And in the teacher's part, we have also Miss Rosie and her friends at the back. They are teachers. So in this community, we are all mixed. Okay? And I would like to recognize the table of Lance there. Lance. My favorite partner, my partner in the cell phone. Anyway, okay, Imelda and Lance, and thank you very much, Sinolo dancers, for bringing the light and bringing the uh, the most beautiful celebration of Sinolo in Cebu. And now we are practicing it. We are celebrating the Sinolo today. And one more thing, we have. From EBCBN, Maria Estacion. She's covering our uh, celebration tonight in order to make some stories for, for EBCBN. Can you please stand up, Maria? Thank you, Mary Estacion. And be ready, She's, your faces are there and you'll be singing the team. Okay, now, thank you and good evening. I am truly happy and blessed to have you to my friends, to my family, my officers, and board of directors. Thank you very much. To God be the glory. Thank you.